Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Kim and in this video I'm going to tell you how you can change color palettes of different anime characters or any other things and then you can easily make this kind of videos. And now some people will say, we can simply do this from AI, ha 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 ha. Bro, shut up. We need originality, okay? We need original content. Whatever, let's get started. Okay, so first you need to get a character whom you want to change color palette. So I'm going with Zenitsu. You can select whoever you want, like it should be an anime or whatever. Now, you need a reference of that particular character, so I'm going to download a reference from Pinterest. Now, once you have taken a reference, we will move to the next step which is outlining. Okay, so there are two options for you guys. First one is just upload the reference image on IBIS, lower the opacity, add a layer above and simply trace the outline. So, whoever is still learning and basically a new bath art, just do this thing. It will be easier and time saving for you. Or the another option is that you can draw the whole character on your own. And to make it easier, just add the image in the reference window. So I'm going with the second option. See you after the outline. Once you are done with the outline, we are going to do the flat colors. Now the coloring part is very important, do it carefully and follow the same steps of mine. Add a layer below the outline, you just need to follow the reference image and select colors from it by pressing long. And just bucket it or do it manually. You have to color different parts in different layers, this is very important and also rename the layers. After the flat colors, add the layer above flat color, turn on clipping and do the detailing on that each separate layer with turning on clipping. Remember do not merge the layers, okay? So it would be very helpful after you would be doing changing color palettes, so yeah. Okay, so after you are done with the coloring part all over, make sure you are satisfied with your art. And your layer should be looking like this and do not merge it and sing it again. Now you need to see this art is a transparent PNG in your gallery. You need to do it from here. Just make it sure that it should be transparent and after saving it, say it in your gallery and it will be looking like this. Okay, let's move to the next part which is changing color palettes. So, I'm going to change Zenitsu's color palette in Hashira's color palette. So, first you have to add a reference of the character whose color palette you will be doing in your art. Like, first I'm going to do the Rengoku's color palette. So, I will be uploading 
reference of Rangoku in reference window. Now start with the skin base color, go on the skin base layer, select the base color from the reference and fill in it. Now go on the skin detailing layer and choose the color from the reference and just bucket it on that. And this is how you are going to do the whole character. Now go on the eyes layer and just bucket for the eyes or you can just draw the whole eye again. It is not that tough, just follow the reference. Similarly do the clothes and the sword. And again when you are done, save the image as a transparent PNG like you did before. And you need to repeat the steps again like you did before. Like I'm doing Mitsuri's color palette now, so I'm going to add her reference and just doing the same steps I did before. And do not forget to save the each art as a transparent PNG. So I'll be doing all 9 Hashira, so I'll meet you after i'm done so as you can see i did all the hashira's color palette so now i'm going to show you how do i make and edit my video so first you have to create a new page and from this camera option you need to upload all the transparent images you made one by one so let's do it and on the top layer, you need to add Zenitsu's, like whoever character you did, with his own original colors. Now on the last layer, just add an image, whatever you want, like for the background. I'm just doing with the Demon Slayer background. And now select the eraser, increase the size, turn on recording, like if you are using the screen recorder of your own device. And first erase the top layer slowly, like it's like a transition and if you want just pause the recording and go to the next layer slowly erase that one by using eraser and turning on recording again similarly do till the last layer And finally, just edit your video. I'm using CapCut. You can use whichever app you want. I overlay the Hashira's images as well. And at last, don't forget to add your juicy watermark. And we are done. Zenitsu in Hashira's color palette. So this is it for today, I hope it helped you and don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram page as well. And if you are making a video using this tutorial, don't forget to tag me so I can check out. And see you in the next video, stay tuned, bye bye. Which one suits him most?